historical landscape of Elsenia's ancient olive trees. The wild olive tree was first cultivated in the Eastern Mediterranean, with Phoenician and Greek influence promoting its planting, cultivation and spread. Once established, however, it was the Romans who introduced the olive to oil production throughout the Iberian Peninsula. The Senia territory, meeting place of the ancient kingdoms of Aragon, Catalonia and Valencia, has the largest legacy of ancient and monumental olive trees in the world. Its spectacular morphology, cultivated by the Romans and Arabs, and location next to the ancient Roman Via Augusta, lay testament to that, and has survived across the centuries. Undoubtedly, these olive trees are the banner for the three million olive trees that form the majority plantation of the area. These trees occupy 15% of the land and give work to 13% of the population. Figures that triple the national average. It is because of this that the landscape is referred to as a sea of olive trees. Sensitized by the large number of olive trees, the Senia Taula Commonwealth carried out and now regularly updates a complete inventory of the olive trees with a trunk circumference of over 3.5 meters at a height of 1.3 meters above the ground. Included in the inventory are the GPS locations of all trees, their data and their pictures. In total, there are more than 4,700 trees, 96% of which are of the Fargo variety. This makes the Senia territory completely unique. This inventory is the first step in initiating projects relating to conservation and information management. People are working together to ensure the future of the olive trees and their environment, which includes maintenance of the dry stone walls and defined fields. The Senia Taula Commonwealth, comprising of 27 municipalities and the Senia Territory Association, which is supported equally, 50% economic and social sectors and 50% Commonwealth, have opted for the enhancement of olive trees, ensuring production of not only their fruit and oil, but also promoting the traditional variety oils and synergies with other sectors including catering and tourism. These are some of the results. Increased awareness of the owners and the people of this territory. In the last century, particularly during periods of reduced economic return, many olive trees were replaced by varieties with a higher yield and were often transported to alternative locations, providing decoration on roundabouts or in private gardens. Now, however, owners are producing a higher quality oil, are paid much better and are proud to retain their exceptional heritage. As a result of this, once abandoned farms with examples of these trees are back in full production. Certified Ancient Olive Oil Production Today there are eight mills, six cooperatives and two private in productivity. Between them, they produce some 12,500 0.5 litre bottles of olive oil a year. The production of different types of traditional oils has also seen an increase, be they varietal or blended, and in addition, cooperation agreements have been signed with the top 52 restaurants in the area. Natural Museums and Areas of Ancient Olive Trees In order to be able to visit these trees without either harming them, interrupting ongoing production or disrupting local farmers from their tasks, an agreement has been made allowing access. Farmers, after signing agreements with landowners, mills and municipalities, have already begun running two museums. One is in Old Icona and the other is in La Jana. Both are farms with high concentrations of trees. Three other areas, one in Alcana, another in Canet Laroig and a third, which is on council land in Vineros, are also being prepared. Each is detailed in three languages and access is free, except in one location where the visitors are guided. Routes for walking, cycling and running through the Sea of Olive Trees have also been prepared. Published works Awards and recognitions include four awards from the Spanish Association of Olive Municipalities, Honor Diploma of the Mediterranean Diet Foundation 2012, Hispania Nostra Award, Foundation Banco Santander 2013, EU Prize for Cultural Heritage, Europa Nostra Award 2014. 
Although driven by the Commonwealth and its association, this project has managed to bring together the territory, uniting municipalities, owners, oil mills, restaurants, tourism providers and so on, and has in addition received other support from state and regional government, researchers, conservation agencies and universities. Finally, note the contribution of this project to conservation in many respects. History, Roman Via Augusta, medieval castles, cultural, Juan Manuel Serrat, Antonio Machado, environmental, own ecosystem, biodiversity loss avoided, education and social, visitors museums and areas recognition, European value, monumental olive trees also exist in other areas in Spain and southern Europe. However, this particular concentration of extraordinary and unique trees can only be found in this project and it is therefore essential to ensure that work designed to protect this beautiful and rich heritage continues in the years to come. This land is proud to embrace and support the roots of these ancient and monumental olive trees in constant struggle between life and death. The struggle continues year in and year out, allowing for both hardship and the challenges of time.